one of the most dramatic things when you go into the theatre, the first thing that strikes you, whether you're coming from the stage or from the main entrance, is, is the ceiling. It's a dramatic plasterwork ceiling. It probably ranks with anything you can find in the West End. It was in fact put there, as far as we can tell, in the refurbishment in the early 1920s, along with the cornice which goes along the, the side aisles. But it's a very dramatic legacy for the theatre and it kind of stamps the atmosphere on it and is one of the, the main features of the theatre itself. There are two statues there just to the, the side of the stage and the columns at the side of the stage. One is the Greek god of drama and one is the Greek god of comedy. We're not sure when they date from. We think they're probably taken as an idea from the first theatre. They have managed to stay in place for all of the last nearly a hundred years. It's a very strange shape for a theatre. It's very long and the, the balcony is something like 80 feet from the stage. So there's a big gap between the, the, the stage and the, and the balcony and, and the back of the stalls. We're not quite sure why it's that shape. The one theory is that it was designed by the architect of the second palace, who was not a theatre designer, so he just filled the space. But one interesting thing is, though it's not the shape of a traditional West End theatre, it's the shape of a concert hall, and also it's shaped like a, a large music hall. Large music halls of the late Victorian period were very, very, very big buildings, so possibly it was designed that way, except for the fact that they were very contemptuous of music hall. Music hall was, was very vulgar, and uh, these were upstanding citizens of Muswell Hill who wanted a, an uplifting experience, educative experience. They wanted a certain kind of audience.